Alright, so I've gotten a few questions asking how to actually install the new projects and stuff. The rig, asset library, sound library, all of that. So today I'm going to walk you guys through it. So first you're going to want to open up the Ice Cube website here. Um, this will contain downloads for all the projects and release dates. Um, release dates for future projects like here. Once this is stable enough, I will post a release date here. It also has what the latest version of the project is and when it was last updated. Check back here regularly. Eventually, projects will be getting an update checker built in. They will not be able to automatically update, but they will be able to check for updates. So, um, what you're going to want to do is download the projects you want. I'm going to download all three for this example. So first I'm going to get Ice Cube, then I'm going to get the Asset Library, I'm going to get the Sound Library. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to move these over to my desktop so I have an easy place to access them at. Alright, so first I'm going to go ahead and open up Blender 4.3.1. So first you're going to want to go to Edit, Preferences, and then Get Extensions. And uh, now we're going to go through and click this drop down and install from disk. Make sure that you are on Get Extensions and not Add-ons, okay? We are going to want to go to our desktop and get Ice Cube 2.0.4 or whatever the latest version is as of you watching this video. Install from disk, you get a pop-up, and there it is, Ice Cube Rig. Next, I'm going to do Install from disk again and get the Asset Library, which currently is 1.1.0. Now, now that both projects are installed, you can search for them again and they are Ice Cube Rig and Ice Cube Asset Library. You can see the versions right there. They are both up to date and ready to use. So, to use the Ice Cube Rig, you're going to want to go to the Add menu and then click Ice Cube in one of the three heights. Um, and we're just going to use the default height for this. And there we go. That's it. You can go to Pose Mode, move it around, all of that. So, now, um, you can also press Shift A to bring up the Add menu. Um, it's just a quicker way to do it. Now the asset library is a bit different. It doesn't have any UI panels or quick shortcuts. What you're going to want to do is either bring over or change one of your windows to the asset browser. And now we're going to swap from all libraries to Ice Cube Asset Library. And now we have access to all of the blocks and items and mobs currently in it. Um, this is up to date to 1.21.4 with blocks and items. The mobs are falling are a little behind due to the complexity of rigging every single one, but the um, blocks and items are up to date. So to bring in a block, we can bring in this amethyst block, and it'll snap to whatever surface is there. So if I were to bring in a andesite debris, you can see I can snap it to any side of it, the sign, and there we go. Built a quick little thing, not exactly accurate to the game. And now I'm going to go to mobs and let's import the creaking. Now when you import a mob, drag and drop it. A little pop-up will appear here and turn off instance. You should only have to do this once per blender scene, but if you, I think if you reload the file, you'll have to do it again. Um, you can see now I can actually use it. Um, there's a pose mode. I can move the arms and the legs and the body and the head too move it around, reset it back to default if I want, and now I can drag in another mob like the creamy horse. And there we go. You can see it's already working straight off the bat. You can load shaders for it, and there it is. You can move it around, move the body, and everything will just work. Now, you have to remember to disable instancing, or another thing, when you import a bob, if you have instancing on, you can press Control Z, and it will snap it back to the center and um, turn off instancing automatically. It won't apply for every mob, so I can drag this one in, instancing still on. Control Z, and there it is. That's quicker, but you have to do it for every single mob you import. Um, but yeah, you can also sort by mob type, so we have hostile mobs here, there aren't that many currently. Plenty of peaceful mobs though. Then you can sort through by axolotls, cats, cows, fish, foxes, frogs, horses, llamas, pandas, squid, etc. Final product of the project is Ice Cube Sound Library. This one you don't actually need Blender for. What you're going to want to do is just right click on it and click Extract All. Um, and now it's going to create a new folder containing all of the sounds that you need. You do not install this anywhere, you 
just have it as a sound library. This can take a while to extract, so if you can, either just have to take the time to let it extract like this, or do what I'm going to do, and then go to sound library, use 7-zip, and then extract here. And now it's finished extracting, there's the file sound, and inside of it, there's every sound in the game. Check back on the website or the wiki to keep up to date on what is currently in these asset libraries and stuff. And that's all. Have fun and good luck.